Hello, my diamonds and my TikTokers. As you know, this week has been one hell of a week for me, battling back and forth with my adult children. Now, anyone who is a subscriber to my channel, you know how much I praise my son. I always give him words of affirmation, and I've done nothing but <clears throat> tell you how proud of him I am. Unfortunately, he has made some videos about me because he's been letting his sister, his sister get inside of his head. She hates my guts. Yeah, you know, I used to be a Jehovah's Witness for over 50 years. I think it was 50, 55 years of my life. And since I left this Jehovah's Witness organization, she has nothing but hatred for me, as most Jehovah's Witnesses do when you leave this organization and they see that you wasn't destroyed because when you leave this organization, they hope <clears throat> and they pray for your demise. And instead of me falling apart and being a bum or just a loser, I turned out to be very successful. And the reason behind that is because I never left Jehovah and I le never left Jesus Christ. But because I left this Jehovah's Witness organization, like I told you, that's all they do is they destroy families. That's what their specialty is. They destroy families. So I'm to the point where when it comes to my daughter, she knows that if she needs me, she has my address. You need me and I will be there. She'll never need me. Uh, she has a man and that's all she cares about is having a man and she's a part of a cult. So she has a social network. So she'll never need me when it comes to wisdom. That girl never listened to me. She gave me such a hard time with her growing up because she used to challenge everything I had to say. Was I a perfect parent? No, I was not. None of us are. But I did the best that I could with my understanding, my sources, and the situation that I was in. And my son, one moment, he's praising me and he's <clears throat> having appreciation for mothers and then when he hangs out with his sister and she's filling his head up with all of this nonsense, now he has a change of heart with his new videos. But like I said, my son left home when he was 33. No, not 13, not 15. You know, when you got your working papers, you could always get a job and pay for a room. You could afford that. And if you had a parent who was such a terror, a terror and so horrible, why did you stay home until the age of 33 when you started working at 14 or 15. So that's why it's so important, portent, I like to say the last word ending of it, it's so important for you to hear both sides. Only a fool listens to one side of anything. Now, he has his videos because he's been letting his sister get inside his head. This is not him speaking, that's his sister talking. Because let me let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to do this now. Now, either he's bipolar or something's not right. But this is a video that he made previously to l l hanging out and talking to his sister. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Lewis. Lewis Speaks 2024. And I had to do this video. You know, I had to come home and do this video as a thank you to my mother. You know, I was thinking about my mother and how she has made so many different sacrifices for me growing up. You know, I have been thinking about how she was never really able to lean into her feminine energy because she was so busy trying to protect me. You know, truth be told, growing up, I was never taught how to protect myself. You know, and personally, I feel it's a father's <clears throat> job to teach his son how to defend himself, how to protect himself. I was never taught. And he's right about that. But the point, parts that he don't bring out about in, in his videos, he doesn't tell you about how he had uncles. I have five brothers, okay? And he had several uncles that was reaching out to him to try to help him to see things from a male perspective. He didn't want that. Okay, because they was like into women and chasing after women and what blah, blah, blah. And they may not have been the best role models, if you will, but they damn sure could have taught him masculinity. They could have damn sure did that. He doesn't talk about me as a single mother 
You know, it takes a man to, 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 to raise a boy and turn him into a man. He don't talk about how I reached out to the, they had a thing called Big Brother program. He didn't want no part of that either. And then we had the Jehovah's Witnesses. Okay, they're supposed to be mild and nice, decent people. And they reached out to him. He didn't want no part of that either. But he don't talk about that part on his channel. He don't talk about how his sister, because you, you know my son is gay, and he has battles that he's battling and his sister, she found people in the cult, the Jehovah's Witness cult, because he's a Jehovah's Witness. Well, he's not really a Jehovah's Witness. He's an inactive Jehovah's Witness. But anyway, he don't tell you about how she found people to talk to him. These are men, men trying to help him through and navigate. He don't talk about none of that on his channel, not at all. He don't talk about how he has a, a, a brother-in-law He's supposed to be an elder in this Jehovah's Witness thing. Why aren't you studying the Bible with your brother-in-law? You don't study the Bible with my brother. He's another Jehovah's Witness, but he don't reach out to him because he's toxic. Everybody to this kid is toxic. We're just all toxic. Are you kidding me? It has nothing to do with something wrong with the people. It has everything to do with he needs to step back for a minute and do a self-evaluation. You're looking for unicorns, honey. Your sister have tried to help you. I've tried to help you. People in the congregation tried to help you. Nothing works for this character. And I love him. And I've done everything on my channel to blow him up and talk positively. And what did I get in return? You get on your channel and you make three videos to talk about your own mother like a dog? Really? The Bible says you're supposed to honor your parents. You choose to dishonor me because you're so busy caring about your sister. A girl who would let you drown. Let that man she's with, her spouse, be drowning and you be drowning. Who do you think she's going to jump in there to save? It won't be you. But you sit up there and side with her and risk losing your mother, the one who has always had your back. But you rather side with her. Whatever, child. How to do that. I had to learn that through other channels, namely women. Women in my life has, have always tried to teach me how to protect myself, but it also came from the lens of a woman. Because you didn't want it from the lens of a man. Everybody tried reaching out to this man, but they're not good enough. First of all, let's look at his, uh, his criteria. You have to be six feet or six feet two. You have to be good looking because he don't want men around him who's jealous of him because he's, he's, he's Mr. Perfect, Mr. Self-Righteous, actually. Every, I've seen some people who have listened to him and they see him as very self-righteous. He is very self-righteous because that's his background, Jehovah Witness. They're very self-righteous. They don't do no wrong. They can't see anything that they do that needs to be adjusted. And now, like I said, in one breath, you're tearing me down like I'm a piece of garbage, like I wasn't a good mother, honey. You're right. I wasn't a good mother. I was a great mother. I was an amazing mother, considering the situation and the circumstances that I had to deal with. But let's listen to uh, Mr. Man again, whatever, child. Femininity in order to help me realize my own masculinity. Oh, when you realize that, when that hits you, <laughs> everything your mother ever did to you, everything that, every argument, every disagreement, every issue has been obliterated, has been obliterated by grace and also insight, awareness and empathy. Empathy, insight, and awareness has lifted that curse of blaming your mom, blaming your this, blaming, why did you to blame? My mother did the best that she could with what she knew. Hello. And knowing what I know now, I don't have a child right now, you know? But knowing what I know now about 
what it means to raise children, especially in a, in a world like this. Single moms out there, whew, you all are amazing. You are amazing. And I have to praise you. I have to celebrate you. Because if, okay, because if, if no if, one told you today, you are amazing. Thank you. You are amazing. And I know I, I am. That God continues to bless you. I hope that he lifts you up and he helps you. The scriptures say that God is definitely there for widows and fatherless children. You know, those who are fatherless, those who don't have the benefit of a partner, of a partner, of a, a father. You know, God is there for you. He's there for you. And I just had to put this message out there because it just never really occurred to me how many sacrifices my mom made. How many sacrifices and how many sacrifices she continues to make. And I'm thinking that right now I am an adult, right? Her job is done. I'm hoping that she can go back and reclaim her feminine energy. You know, I'm hoping that she can actually lean into her softness, have an opportunity for a soft era. You know? Yeah, how am I supposed to do that when I have adult children? <laughs> One minute you're feeling this way about me, next minute you're that way about me. How am I supposed to go back and reclaim? Well, you're right, I will reclaim because you know she was true love, honey. If it don't apply, I let it fly. But I'm just trying to give you an idea of what I'm dealing with when it comes to my children. Oh, child, please. When it comes to my daughter? Oh, God. I had to fall back from that girl. I'm like, if you need your mother, I will show up and I will show out. But I'm not going to let you sit up there. My blood pressure is usually 120 over 70. <clears throat> After having conversations with my daughter, and since my son is allowing his sister to get inside his head, you know what my blood pressure was when I went to 160 over 100. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute here. Because I love Sheila True Love. And I'm going to take care of me. So I have to fall back from these adult children who lack gratitude and appreciation. And I looked at my son's videos, whatever, like he admitted, he don't have no children. What the hell do you know about being a parent for you to make your previous videos about parenting? You don't have any children, sweetheart. So I said to my son, why don't you get yourself, because sometimes he suffers a little bit from loneliness, get yourself a cat. I have royalty. And he's totally, you see my, my voice is getting ready to be baby-like, because we're talking about Roy. Royalty is awesome. It feels good to come home to another heartbeat in the house. He can't even take care of a dog or be responsible for a dog or a cat. But you want to sit on your high throne and talk about parents? Are you serious? Uh, make like they always say make this make sense because it don't make no sense to me my daughter who has children different baby daddies because she chose not to listen to her mother she didn't follow my example i always dealt with men who was going to have bible studies who was going to go to christian meetings she didn't make that choice so she got different baby daddies and she had three men three men to help her and her children are still, huh, do you really want me to talk about grandchildren? I don't even call them grandchildren. But you want to sit up here and tell me that I'm not a good mother? How about this? I'm a better mother than you, okay? I raised children who are pro productive members of society. Did you? My children are well-spoken. They have careers, not jobs. They know how to take care of themselves in my absence. They're smart and educated. They're God-fearing. So let's talk about what are your children. Okay, I gave you my list. And I only did that through Jehovah God and Jesus Christ. But when you want to point fingers at your parents, make sure that you emulate them. Emulate. If there's a bad thing going on in the family history, break that cycle. Break the cycle. Let's see you break the cycle since you're so big and bad. You better than me as a parent. Really? Let's look at how my children turned out and let's look at how yours turn out. And then I have videos where you have adult children. They admit they had both the mother and the father. The mother and the father. 
and their kids still ended up in jail during 10 years, 15 years. They're smoking crack. They're on crystal meth. They smoke THC dope every day or every other day. They drink like a sailor. But you want to point fingers at your mother? Really? Look at intervention. Look at soft white underbelly. That's the good one. Soft white underbelly. And listen to these kids. A lot of them had a rough childhood. So if you had a rough childhood, break the cycle. Your kids, you should be doing better, right? Why is it that your kids are in foster care? You're sitting up here on a, 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 a soft white underbelly because you got a crack habit and you smoking dope. No, should you have broken the cycle because your parents were rotten? They were no good. You know, your mother, no good. Okay, mothers, fall back. And let's see them break the cycle and let's see them do better. They don't, they don't. And then they wonder why they're living in a wilderness of depression, panic attacks, anxiety, and Jehovah God is going to keep you there. Yeah, Jesus Christ said you honor your parents if you want things to go right for you because you're not perfect either. The same way you make bad choices, the same way you don't do everything right, the same way you pick the wrong way to go, your parents are not perfect either. What part of that don't these kids understand? But like I said, my son, he left home at the age of 33. So if I was a monstrous or a horrible parent, there ain't nowhere in the world. Nobody's going to stay home that long unless, and my brother, my brother lived with me for three and a half years, three or four years. He said, if mommy was like you, and I quote, he said, if mommy was like you, I would have been a mama's boy. That's what he said, living with me, experiencing me, for real, for real. So like I said, when you hear these, these adult children making videos about their mothers, make sure that you hear both sides. And I've offered my son, let's do a video together. You have a channel, I have a channel. Let's do this together. Oh no, he makes excuses. Why do you make these excuses? Because you know you're not being honest. You're exaggerating a lot of the things that you say. You're, you're, you're lying. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to put it straight out there because I'm a straight shooter. You're a liar. You exaggerated a lot. And you also left out a lot of the good things that I did. Now he got a little video, but this was previous. This was before, before he started dealing with his sister. Now that he's dealing with his sister, he's coming out with these videos with all of this toxic dishonoring your parents. And that's because she's, she's got negative energy. She's negative. She's gloom, doom. She has material things, but she's not happy. She's miserable. And you know how miserable people, how they can be. She's miserable. She got kids that don't even want to talk to her. Hello. But wait, wait, let me, let me check this for a minute. But you're a better parent than me. Really? You have kids that don't even want to talk to you. What about that part? This is ridiculous. And yes, I'm an advocate for parents because you have so many videos being made. Dogging parents, dogging mothers. She was no good. Blah, blah, blah. She's this, she's this. But she stayed on the job. She stepped up to the plate. She did a man's job. And they have no appreciation or gratitude. None at all. The same way she does things that are wrong, I'm sure there's a lot of things that she has done right. Focus on that part. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle.